In this video, we're going to have a look at compound interest. When an account receives compound interest, it means that interest is calculated on the original amount as well as on any previous interest earned. This means that interest you receive is reinvested into the account to also receive interest. The tables below show the amount of simple interest compared to the amount of compound interest that you would receive on an investment of 100,000 Rand at 10% per year. With simple interest, you can see that the interest received each year stays the same because it is determined by looking at the original starting amount. If we look at compound interest, the interest received each year increases because it is determined by the new starting amount for that year. So, as your account grows, your interest earned per year also grows. Even though it is still 10%, it is now 10% of a larger amount. For compound interest, there's also a formula you can use to calculate the A value or final amount. A reminder that A, the final amount, consists of your starting amount or P and all the interest earned. I is still the interest rate divided by 100 and N the number of periods. There's only one small difference between simple interest formula and compound interest formula. And that is the fact that the number of periods N is now in the exponent. Example 1. Leah invests 9,000 Rand for 5 years at a compound interest rate of 10% per annum. How much money will Leah have in her account at the end of 5 years? Here we are given a starting amount of 9,000 Rand as well as the number of periods of 5 years. They mention that it's a compound interest rate of 10% per annum. Because this is a compound interest rate, we know which formula to use. So now I can substitute everything that was given to me with the small difference that N is now in the exponent. Leah's investment then grew in 5 years time to a value of 14,494 Rand and 59 cents. Example 2. An investment that received 9% compound interest per year has grown to 119,984 Rand and 44 cents after four years. How much was invested originally? Again, I'm going to start off determining what information was given. And here, the 9% compound interest gives me the interest as well as shows me which formula to use. Then we are given the final amount as well as the number of years. Now I can substitute all this given information. And just like with simple interest, to solve the p-value, I need to get rid of the whole bracket. And that means I divide by the bracket on the left-hand side. The original amount invested, or the p-value, is 85,000 Rand. Example 3. Peter opens a savings account and deposits 200,000 Rand. The account receives a compound interest rate for 3 years and grows to 273,526 Rand and 20 cents. Calculate the interest rate that was received per year. Here we were given Peter's starting amount as well as his final amount. And we were also given that this was for three years. They also mention that it is compound interest, which tells us which formula to use. Next, we can substitute all this given information into the formula, and we need to solve i. Because i is inside the bracket, I need to start off by getting rid of everything on the outside of the bracket. Therefore, to get rid of the 200,000 Rand that is multiplied to the bracket, I'm going to divide by that on the left-hand side. On the outside of this bracket, I'm still left with a cube. 
And to get rid of a cube, I'm going to do the inverse operation, which is a cube root. And to finally get rid of the plus 1 on the right, I'm going to take the left hand side and subtract 1. On the calculator, we want the cube root, so I need to press shift and then my root, and on the inside, we need a fraction. Next, I enter my numerator value, and then I move into my denominator and also enter the denominator's value. Then I move out from under the fraction as well as out from under the root and subtract 1. This decimal value is 0, 0,11. So the value for i is 0, 0,11. And then I'm reminding you that to calculate the interest rate, I still need to multiply by 100 to get 11% per annum. To sum up, we had a look at simple as well as compound interest and each of these have their own formula. Each formula has four variables and you need to determine which three variables were given so that you can use algebra to solve the fourth variable.